The first thing is that we teach them that if they do have to lay hands on somebody, they need to be confident and knowing why they're going to lay hands on them and to get that individual under control as quickly as possible. Strike some person one time to get them under arrest if they're resisting, probably doesn't look as bad as if you had to strike them four or five times and you had to wrestle around in somebody's yard for five or ten minutes and then two or three more officers had to show up. If you get that individual under control very quickly, it has a tendency not to escalate up to something like that. Really what ends up happening when you get out on the streets and you get into a fight, you don't go blow for blow and get into a punching contest. It becomes a wrestling match because you get them on the ground. And so it's more like grappling type stuff and, and uh, get them into a hold so that you can get them into custody. This way right here, if he tries to push into me, he's pushing as hard as he can. I'm using minimum force right here. All right? If I don't do it, if I do it the old tie fight way, I'm like this and he pushes into me, he's got to turn me backwards. All right, not knocking any other type of fighting, but that's not what we're going to do in this class. Not very many people in this class have any uh, proper training in fighting and uh, fighting techniques and that type of thing. So we're going to give them some tools to kind of help them prepare for that. And they're going to perfectly practice that stuff again and again and again until they get it down in their head. And uh, they'll have to know that stuff when it comes to their DT final. Trying a lot harder than you are, I guarantee it. Can you do anything, Mr. Gant? I can fall down, that's about it. He can just about fall down. Make sense? Also good for a search. It's like we're doing the off-the-wall takedown. Can somebody move right or left? They can move straight down. That's about all they could do. But if you think about it, on all these different things we did, there was little key things that we gave you. Down! Up! Seven, sir! It's the little subtle things that you do that make a difference. Down, up, hey, sir. I know you think a lot of these things seem little nitpicky things that we keep making up. Down, up, hey, sir. The instructors out here bring lots of years of experience to you. Down, up, hey, sir. Nine times out of ten, you get voluntary compliance and a person will comply with my order for them to turn around and put their hands behind their back and, and uh, have no problem handcuffing them. But there's always that one guy you're going to have to fight. Most of the time people are just trying to get away from you. That's all they want to do is get away. And so then you have a scuffle. I don't know that like there's any type of fit you could be that you could go in there and not leave just totally wiped out. Because it's it's physically a nightmare. <laughs> but uh, you might get a 30 second break here and there, but it is four hours of nonstop. It's just chaos. It's chaos. You gotta concentrate on your uh, suspect and what you're doing and where you're at. It's hard. I mean, it's just a constant four hour workout. And you've got, it's not just working your body, you gotta be thinking. Move your feet back, just leave your head on there and I put your left hand behind your back. Make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, now I can have him stand up. Say, so go ahead and stand up for me. And now, I can pat him down. Okay, because I'd already pat him down with handcuffs on, or search him with handcuffs on, then it's not. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make sense? All right, then I'll double lock him up. I'm still bladed off, right? I'm not standing up here like this trying to catch him. I'm going to do that. Still bladed off. The best sound in the world when you're in a fight is what? Sirens. 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 All the sirens coming. You know your buddies are coming. You know they're going to help you, right? Yes, so if sir. we can tell you these little tricks and these little, little finer points of doing these things, so that you can save that little bit of energy, that last ounce of energy to hang on. When they're exercising some force on a person, that they have to, you know, think of it as as objectively as you can. Uh, essentially, they're only using as much as they need to get the job done and and to show some control. Uh, that's what society expects, and that's what we train them to do.